I love everything about that. That nice. fancy shirt would look really good on you, see? You think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get fancy. you one. Fancy. 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 Wasn't it Serena's birthday today? I think, I think I saw that. Birthday. I believe, yes. Yeah. Well, happy from birthday. the night Thank side you. to the morning side, a very happy birthday <laughs> yes, to our own local day. love herself. Mm -hmm. Great. Awesome. Well, are you loving these hot temperatures? They're they're actually pretty late this year, they're right? They're not as that bad was, as it could be. That was good. I like that yeah. attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm just yeah. looking. I'm looking for anything. I'm, I'm just the <laughs> fill in. Lining. Every time <laughs> I'm filling in here on the four o'clock show, something happens. There's a live look. It's Sedona. Take take a look behind me right there. I just wanted to kind of cool you down. Our high unofficially today, 106. Currently up in the Red Rock country, it's 88 degrees. So take a breath and try to cool down. Oh, look at that. It dropped two degrees since I last checked. It's now 86 in the Red Rock country, 73 in Flagstaff. But we're not alone. I mean, look at the western part of our state. Bullhead City, come on. 109, yeah, 104 in Lake Havasu, Yuma at 105. We've got excessive heat warnings all the way down the Colorado River, all the way in through central and southern California. We also have an excessive heat warning up at the Grand Canyon. That's below 4,000 feet. Now, the radar is really lighting up right now. It's nothing really measurable with rain. There's very dry levels at the lower levels of the atmosphere. The only measurable rain so far has been over here along the New Mexico border. There's been some lightning out there. Like I said, we're not alone with these high temperatures. I mean, look at Boise, 95. It's 97 in Reno. It's 90 in Salt Lake City in the 80s up in through Montana and Wyoming 88 in Portland. All of those temperatures are breaking records. Yesterday Portland was 95. It's all due to this massive high pressure ridge just locked into the western half of the United States. Look at the jet stream way up in Canada and then kind of right behind my name. You see that right there? You let little curly Q, little cut off low down there. That just kind of keeps spinning up a little bit of moisture. I wish you'd bring up some decent moisture that we could kind of interact with and get some thunderstorms or some rain showers out of this. But other than that, high pressure is really just going to kind of build in through the week. It's going to remain strong. That low is just going to kind of me uh, me meander over to the east of us, kind of spin up some clouds and some moisture in the afternoons, but nothing really measurable. And we'll keep this uh, hot streak going at least through the weekend. Our lows tonight looking like this 80 degrees. That's our overnight low. It doesn't cool off very much, right? Temperatures in the 60s to the north of us for Sedona. They're high tomorrow, 93. We should be right in the same range, 111 in Bullhead City. So to wrap things up, we will be on a hot streak at least through Saturday, cooling off a bit on Sunday and Monday, down to 102 on Tuesday. All right, scene. Thank you.